How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Fox Farm up in this piece, courtesy of my boy Oak Ridge. This be their quiet night. This is a Czech style dark lager at 5.3%. Yeah. Love me some Fox Farm. My boy Oak Ridge is like a magician, a beer magician. He just, I sit around in my house, on my vacation, not doing much of anything, just relaxing, getting the, ha the house all babified and set up kidified for the baby bean that's going to come around March and I just get random emails going hey there's a box of beer in your mailbox and what happens I go outside and there's Fox Farm it's like it's like magic um so deck uh dark check lager so we're talking about basically think about a check lager but just a little bit more it's not going to be overly chocolatey over roasty that's reserved for your Schwarz beer something just a it's a little bit maltier without getting too heavy-handed Label-wise, always love the Fox Farm labels. Beer-wise, looks the part of a dark beer, you know? You could tell me this is a porter. You can tell me this is Shores beer. You could tell me this is a bunch of different beers. Cascadian Dark Hill looks the part. Nice kind of khaki-colored head on this sucker. So let's try to do this little swirl here. I'm not used to this glass yet, so I don't have my swirls down. Let's get a nose. Yeah, I mean, there's a... There's a decent malt there, and there's a nice roast component to it. Comes off a little bit beefier, a little bit heavier than I expect from a Czech Dark Lager. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, really, I'm not getting a, a ton of, like, bittering hops or any kind of lager-fied kind of vibes to it. It's more just a roasty, toasty, um, slightly... Ro and I think the most of the bittering is coming from, like, a roasted malt, kind of roasted maltiness. Done and done. Dive in. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's a Czech Dark Lager. I mean, that nose gave me this big, robust malt for its ABV level. And this uh, this bittering, it, it gives you that in a taste, but it's not even close to Schwarz beer level. It has this softness that you expect from a slightly maltier beer because of the grain bill, but drinks uh, quick, finishes quick, and is clean, so you get that kind of lager side of things. Um... There's not a ton of bittering on this. That's probably the only thing I, I wouldn't, if I'm gonna nitpick it, I just want a little bit more bittering from hops um, because I am getting a bittering. It almost has to be coming from a roasted malt bitterness, bitterness. And then you get a slight kind of, slightly caramelly, slightly chocolate thing from the malt that's not over the top. It keeps it in that kind of check dark lager realm. It just lacks this subtle, subtle, subtle little bit of bittering that I think kind of would elevate the beer. Um, you know, and make it a little bit more Czech Pilsner-like, um, just in the kind of dark Czech Pils kind of territory. But again, we're we're super nitpicking at this point because this is just tasty AF beer. Man, I like that. It's really good. Super crisp, super clean. Zero negativity to it as far as flaws or off flavors. Or even that metallic thing that I get so much from these dark, lower ABV darker beers. It's fucking awesome. What do you want me to say? It's Fox Farm. Guess what? Fox Farm doesn't suck. I don't know if you guys heard. Um, it's kind of a surprise. But they don't suck. <laughs> so yeah, I don't even know what else I want to say. It's a pretty simple beer. Nothing too crazy. Each sip I got a little bit more bitterness. So maybe my little nitpick there is going to kind of repair itself over time. But it's it's chuggable, drinkable, low ABV. Brings that malt where it needs to be. Has that nice roastiness going on. That bittering, bittering builds with every sip. And it's just kind of what you want from these lower ABV kind of traditional style beers in a very traditional way, but just everything's just a little bit, except for that hop bittering. I know in the traditional Czech dark pills, you know, it, let's say the malt's at a four and a half. This is a five, you know? Let's say the roastiness is at a four. So four and a half. Everything's just slightly volumized in just a minute way. Just get that little bit of a robust kind of beat your chest American kind of twist to it. But it stays uber traditional, so it doesn't get too heavy handed where it's like new school, crazy, weirdo kind of a deck char uh, check dark lager. It just ends up being fun, drinkable, and epically tasty. I kind of think I kind of think that's what Fox Farm does now in a very, very fun way. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better ones I've had as well? Yes. There's a couple I dig more than this, but it's probably even worthy of being Mount Rushmore setups because I haven't had that many. But I've been seeing these. I've been firing out 
of uh, breweries as of late. I haven't seen a ton of dark uh, Czech dark lagers, and it just seems like I, I think I've had like I've had maybe like six over the past six years, and then all of a sudden now I've had six over the past six months. Take that for what it's worth. Um, value and availability, no idea. Fox Farm people, let me know what's what, and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like beer, this is beer flavored beer for beer flavored beer drinking people. Does that make sense? If it makes sense, you know what I'm talking about. If it doesn't make sense, you probably still know what I'm talking about, hopefully. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Thank you very much, Oak Ridge, for dropping us off a very fun beer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Um, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Mastiff if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully enjoying a little Fox Farm right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>